Well, I couldn't get that to swipe on. Sorry, guys, you're going to see it kind of blur for a second because it didn't like my finger. Well, I've been having a little bit of trouble recording. Even yesterday, I did a whole video, talked to myself for a whole hour, thinking I was talking to you guys, and I didn't, I forgot to swipe up to start the record. Oh. And by that time, I had to go out, and it was too late to redo it. And I kept thinking all evening I'll do a video, but you know how when a night just gets away from you? Well, that's what happened. So, hello, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Countdown to our Christmas. I, that's what's keeping me busy, is doing, um, getting out because I've been so sick, getting things done. I'm behind, behind, behind. Okay, so i got lots of things scattered on my desk, lots of ideas going through my head. I found it. I, I've been watching some videos, um, and, oh, uh, Rose Hill Cottage, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Um, I've been watching a couple of her videos. Oh, that thing hurts. Um, and this one was inspired by her. Um, this is, um, this paper is from um, Ruby and Pearl, one of my favorite designer, creator, uh, designer, uh, digital designer. I just love her stuff. And then the same with the stuff on the back. But I had this already glued on to a paper that I screwed up the front part of it. So I just covered it up. And I took this paper and instead of trimming it off, I decided, oh, Pika's come to uh, join us for a few minutes. Pika's bum, I should say. Okay, baby girl, sit down. And so I decided, why not just put a, because there's plenty of writing space. And I just thought, oh, that would look, and then I found that image. And I glued it onto some almost handmade paper, but it's store-bought. And stuck some more writing space. And if you didn't want that there and you wanted to write a memory and you wanted to put a photo or a, say you went to something, a Christmas event, you could put the flyer in there or the ticket or whatever and write about the memory. You don't have to necessarily keep that in there. And that's, I have actually made that for to be put in this item that I sold so I made that to go in with this and I love it I am going to have to do one for myself but that's going in that as a little extra and uh, then yesterday as well while I was online talking to myself I, I think the last video you'll remember I was going to use Oops, let me move that. I got so much stuff here. Um, I was going to use this and make a belly band while watching um, Rose Hill. Um, I got to find out get her first date. She, she added like a flip to the paper in, but she glued it and made the belly band. So that's what I did. The belly band there. And then I, the paper is this. I flipped it over, attached it to this. I added this image in yesterday just to add a little something to that. And then some writing spots. Um, but it, for right now, what I'm thinking I might end up doing, um, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to, I have something in mind I'm going to put there. But my memory at this moment is going, uh, what was that idea, Christina? Oh, and I'm going to yawn. I'm... I'm still not sleeping well, guys. Now you can put a paper clip here if you want it to hold it. I'm obviously not maybe that big of a paper clip, a smaller paper clip. And then, oh, don't you touch things. You behave. She wants me to pet her, of course. Um, I'm not using this, but it's an example. Oh, Pika, you're right in the way, baby girl. Where are you going? Come on. Let's go. Um... I'm going to do something like this and paper clip something here. Um, that does look nice, but, you know, I have the same image on the inside. I think I like that image or something. So, and because of Rose Hill, I found a new digital designer that I love probably just as much as Ruby and Pearl. This is two of her papers that I printed back to back. I got to trim it, but I want it to... I wanted to add another one into my tall journal, so it's going to go somewhere 
in here just to add something more because that's just me I might end up sticking it in here but I have to trim it of course so that's going to probably end up going in there so I did because I, I, I mean I only bought I played games last night because I have this um, app that if you play games you earn credits that can go into your PayPal it takes a lot but I was playing and playing and playing to build up to buy some of the digitals because I don't have money and I've got like six more of her digitals I want. Her digitals are amazing, amazing. Um, I'm going to do a journal of the one I bought. Um, I'll have that ready and show you maybe tomorrow or the next day. So I did that on camera when I wasn't actually videotaping. So I have to make something for there. It might just be what I have in my, have, I did a little bit of it because I was kind of practicing. Um, again, this was Rose Hill. She took, she had smaller one of these. I don't have a small one. And um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to glue this snowflake on here. And I'm not sure what, if I'm going to decorate that yet or leave it white. I think it might be too white for me. So I might do a little something something on that but for now I'm going to do this I gotta keep yawning guys I, I guys I just wished I could get a good sleep in I am not sleeping and it's it's starting to get to me I I my my sleep is restless any old time but it's worse right now and it's like I have these dreams and they're not, they're almost, they're almost like I'm anxious or anxiety dreams. They're just, I just, they're not good dreams. And they, then I don't, don't feel like I'm resting even while I'm sleeping. And then I wake up because I'm so, I'm tired of this dream. And then I lay there awake going, okay, think of something positive. Think of something different. Let's change our mindset. Let's do something. And it's not happening. What this is, is not last year, but the year before I went to Marshall's. And these are actually gift tags, but I don't know where I put the box. I dropped it, and I'm not sure where I dropped it. Well, I, I kind of, I put it out of my way. But sometimes when I put things out of my way, well, my brain forgets where I put it out of my way. But anyways, I got, and it actually had this tied to the top. It's a gift tag. And on the other side of it, before I glued it down, it says to and from. And I thought, oh, these are perfect. I love, whoops. See that, guys? Did you see that? Um, so, I got uh, my lights on my tree finally. So, I'm going to decorate it tonight. It doesn't want to stay glued to that. Might just take a moment for it to. So, well, that's kind of holding on. And then I thought, well, me, I always want to make a journal spot. I got to get a book page. I gotta stop gluing on that because then it ruins the other side of it. So let's grab a book page. And then on this side. But I don't, I think I want to have some of the red showing. So I'm just going to trim up each side a little bit. This is old. Um, when I went to the thrift shop in I think this one I got in Canada Let's see if I can straighten get a little bit more square looking um, I found this old um, I guess it's an art book oh it's it's a scrap book um, I don't even know it's from our Zellers and our Zellers has been gone for a long time uh, Walmart and Target to US stores knocked our Canadian store off the market 
and I picked it up and I, I hate using it because there's not a lot of it and it's such amazing paper uh, amazing paper I don't even know if there's a date on this no but it was back in the day it was two dollars and 49 cents for it and I got it for 50 cents no, there's no date on it, but it's older because I would say Zellers has been gone 10 years or more. It, as a kid, it was my favorite. Even as teenagers, me and my sister, for some reason, if we were bored at night, we would go catch a bus and go to Zellers and we go around. And uh, a lot of times we would get fries or something at the, it had a little restaurant inside it and we get fries or something and we just go around and shop and look at everything because that was in a small town. There wasn't much other things you could do. And even later in life, when I first moved to Quebec, my friend Nicole and me, after our shift, when it was in our mall, we would go to Starbucks and get a drink, especially at Christmas time. It was our favorite because we'd get this creme brulee. And we'd walk around Zellers and talk and shop and drink our, and it became a tradition. And then Target bought the retail space and Target just wasn't the same. Unfortunately, Target in Canada was not very good. It didn't last for very long. And uh, it was nothing like the Target in the States because I've been to many Targets in the States. So there we go. That's all I'm doing to it. And I'm going to stick it inside here. And that's, and it's a little too wide to go where I want it. And it might be too wide for this journal. So it might be for something else because this is a big DVD. Yeah, it's going to be too wide for anything in here. I don't have a smaller one. Um, this also would make a cute Christmas card too. I could have a to and from you know, with a little note on the back. It would make a cute little Christmas card, too. And I might still do that. I just thought it to show you guys that. I, I thought that was really, really cool. So, now. Ooh. Now, let's go on here. I'm going to yawn. Guys, and I'm really sorry. I really, I think I... When I finally went back to sleep and then I slept too long, but obviously I didn't sleep long enough. So let's, I have, I want to put something in the front of that. I don't think I have anything I really want that's ready made that I would like for that. I don't want a tag. I want... I was just thinking maybe the envelope. It's kind of the... I think I could kind of use this. That might look good there, because especially it kind of matches that green. So since that's already made, we'll just put that journal card there. And then you just take that off and you flip it open. And I just keep thinking it's too heavy, though. I like the coloring in that, but it's it's really thick, this one. So I kind of want it to be like when I did this, it's just really thin and lightweight. So maybe I need to make another something like that with a different image. That's what we need to do. And this is really, again, something. Oh, this is that thing where I said, make sure you put the glue on your washi tape because washi tape doesn't have that long life. So let's make something like this. Do I have a piece of scrap? Oh, I do, look at that. We'll have to trim this up some, or we'll just... And I want it to look rough. I don't want it to, you know, I'm gonna tear that. I'm going to tear it so I don't tear too wonky. There we go. There we go. I want to ink it. 
this is a really, this paper bag is like a really nice sturdy paper bag. You know what? I don't think I want this. That's it. The top of the bag, you know, where it, I just don't want that. I wouldn't mind it if the whole thing was like that, but I want it to look very torn. Oh, for those that celebrate Christmas, do you have big plans? We have, um, I am not going home this Christmas. It's, uh, the train is just a little expensive and my family and my family, my sister doesn't really do Christmas trees or any of that. She still has her kids over. But she just doesn't, she has a daycare in her house. So it's hard because then they're always touching it. And so she just, when her kids got older, she stopped doing it. And um, so she, they don't really, like so, sometimes she only has Christmas day off and she, because she has a daycare. So if parents need her, she's available because some, not all parents get a lot of time off Christmas. So when she initially wasn't doing anything for Christmas, it was because she was going to take Christmas Day and Boxing Day off and that was it. And then she was going to do, have the kids uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then be off again Monday, Tuesday, New Year's Eve and our son, yeah, New Year's Day, I think she was only going to take off and be back to work on the Tuesday. But it ended up only two kids were coming and not the full week and she, it wasn't worth it so then she decided oh, we could put something as simple as that there I like that since it's sitting there or more oh the, that green one's a little smaller than what I really would like but we could put something in because the reason why is because I wanted to kind of bring that green like over there and so I think it'll look really nice so that but we'll put something in the background I don't think there's enough of that and I have that same paper I was thinking we'd collage a little collage a little but they don't have a lot of scraps I'm scratching guys so it shouldn't be Just see what I have here that I can use. Maybe I'll just do what I did on the other one. Take a piece of this. I couldn't figure out. I keep for sometimes it's just Pika cleaning herself. I don't know if I want. I want to go this way. I'll start this way first. Maybe. Like that, and then we can always make it smaller if we need, need be. I definitely need to make that a bit smaller. Since I already started with just having it more square, a little bit more off the top there, and we might just rough some of this edging up a bit so it doesn't look so you know, you got the other one all kind of torn up, and then you have this one sometimes trying to keep it small so you don't lose much of that paper you just tore to more of the size there we go let's ink it I wasn't very careful with that inking Last night was so funny. We had to go out. I was going to make almost a hamburger. Something I just seen a recipe and now I'm trying to remember it. But they basically took and um, I think they just used like stewing tomatoes and they just cooked the noodles and the hamburger meat all together in the frying pan. Well, they boiled the noodles first. But I was just going to make that last night. and But we had to go out. 
I have to go get um, Andre and and Jacob needed to get Gab's Christmas present, and she'll probably be here tonight. So they had we had to do it last night, and uh, he doesn't really like to go out after school. And so convincing him to go out was not easy. And uh, what was funny is, I think I want to corner around this, but I don't want a big corner. So I'm using this one that's not the sharpest. Um, and so I told him that when we get back, I'm going to make noodles. And he wanted craft dinner. He insisted we have to have craft dinner for dinner. So something we used to eat as kids. Usually we did fried bologna, but we have done fried hot dogs, the wieners. So I made craft dinner and fried hot dogs. At, well, I boil them first. I steam them for a bit and then cut them kind of open and butterfly them and fry them. And then I made some uh, a frozen vegetable some broccoli and cauliflower just to add, make it try to make it a little bit more healthier for dinner but he insisted he wanted craft dinner for dinner last night he didn't want the other so now tonight I'll make the other one but he came downstairs and then where we had, we had to go to this store called Giant Tiger and it was by our dollar store called Dollarama um, we had to go to those two stores um, and there's this restaurant called Biggie's and it's where we buy our pizza. Well, then suddenly he wanted to go there to eat, but Papa was saying, you know, it's just too much money to go out and eat right now because we eat out on Friday night. So we try not to eat out any other night. There we go. Plain and simple. Doesn't have to be fancy. You could add a little piece of lace to this, a piece of washi if you wanted to. Um, I might eventually add lace. Sometimes I'll come back in. Um, I may not use that big red paper clip, but I'm kind of liking the red paper clip. I'm going to see if I have a small red paper clip. And there we go. And then that'll hold that flip closed. And there we got that page done. Now here... Oh, my mouth is... One of the things with COVID that I find is the chemical taste in my mouth. Uh, Andre said he felt that same thing too. A little. Okay, but I want to try... I want to do some other things. I may not work on that page right now, but these will be things that go in. It's just a couple of things I saw, and I'm, I'm trying my own way of doing it. Um, you know, you see something, I'm not quite sure how she did it because it was just a flip through. So you only see her lift it up and that. So I did, went on to my, I'm thinking of making some of these to sell, but obviously people don't want Christmas things anymore. Well, I do, I'm going to be using, um, if you might still want Christmas stuff. Because if you follow me for the year, we're going to work on Merry Monday. I'm not going to get that one. It's too narrow. Can't rip it with a ruler. I'm not good at ripping it with a ruler. When it's that narrow. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm not making a booklet. I did make it a little long. But that's okay. That's okay. It works. It works. Uh, she probably has the printable and then she printed it out and I don't I went online and found this and then I just liked these two things that I might use eventually in the somewhere in there because I know when I print things or make something I don't like to waste the leftover space and all I'm going to do I've lost my See that in that few? Oh no, it's not that far. I'm going to, I just printed the paper and instead of, I could have just printed and then print it, but I just wanted to do it this way. I just thought this would be fast and easy way. And I'm not really doing anything to this. Uh, 
I'm probably going to end up eventually doing it. I'm just gluing it closed for now. And then it'll be ready. And basically I'm going to end up putting it in it like this, but I'm going to end up maybe paper clipping it with a few other things and tucking it into a pocket. That's my goal with it. And all I did, and now if you have something like this, you can just print it and then glue it the other way. I just thought this would save me. And because I downsized it, because this is a much larger one. It's much larger and I wanted it small. And now I, I could add, eventually might add more to this depending on, and I'm going to fold the corner over. I want to age it up a bit. Same with this. See, I might have to, I think I'm fine once I ink it. And again, that corner that I folded over. You can also take, and the, I do this sometimes to age it a bit, and you can tear it a little bit. And what sometimes I'll do is with that tear, I'll take a bit of glue, just a touch, and I'll glue it down. that to give a bit more of a worn look now I've got glue on my and then you just and then you have to go back over here and make sure you ink that up and then it kind of gives that worn and torn look And sometimes when you do leave that roughness there, you get that older look too. I have this piece of glue, this clump of glue on me, and it keeps getting everywhere. And so I'm going to, and now you can add more to this if you want. Now, be careful. See, I have to be careful here because of the way I glued this there. go sometimes when you get glue on your thing it's not bad because sometimes I'll do this right and I'll smear it and it'll dry a bit there that's what I'm how I'm going to leave that for now but I'm going to do I'm actually going to do another one not that one I didn't have to print that. Where did I put it? Okay. I just realized that I went looking for this image free, but I actually had it on one of my digitals that I bought. But I, because a lot of the digital people, they, they find the free stuff, right? I just realized I haven't had a tea today because I woke up late and I woke up hungry. And if I have a tea, I if I don't feel it, I don't like, I'll eat toast or cookies with tea. Or like if I have a, a biscuit or something like that, I like with tea. But I don't like, I, I just had steamed some uh, chicken and vegetable wontons and then I put some peanut butter on it. Gave myself a little peanut butter dumpling for lunch. It was really good. Um, and so, I think I kind of might have wanted this, kind of think I might have wanted this a little, there's my good English there. I think I kind of want to, I'm going to just close this up because I hit, keep hitting that corner. And this, by the time I add everything in here, she's going to keep getting thicker and thicker. This is going to go in there. Some of this stuff is going in there. I just don't know when because I'm not that far yet. Yeah, 
And I'm just going to glue this. And here I want to make sure I get the edges. Sometimes I just throw a little glue on that other side. And we want to fold this over. If you have actual real book pages, you could do this to the one side. I don't actually have a lot of vintage Christmas book pages. I need to trim this a bit. Trim this side. This is a nice way to give yourself some writing space too. And this one might be a little big for my book, but we'll see. If I had to, I could trim a little bit off this because I think that's what I'm going to do because I think I want it a little bit more narrow. I go ahead and try my best to cut. Oh, I'm doing much better cutting. There we go. I want that a little more narrow. Now let's ink her up. Let's put the glue, a lid on the glue, ink her up. Um, I there's some things that I really want to improve in in the new year. One of the things is I I need I really want to get a die cut machine because there's just some things I saw the way she created with die cuts. It's just amazing. And I only have, I, this is thanks to people who sent me, I only have these two trees. But she had a beautiful die cut tree. And I'm like, oh, I have to have that. Um... And I want to try making my own homemade paper. I really want to try it. And it, it looks beautiful embossed on as well. When you can emboss. Em, is it emboss? When you get the... For me, embossing is also when you take a stamp and you put the glitter on it and you emboss it that way too. Um... Oh, guys, am I got the wrong thought? I thought I put a couple here to use. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, when you get this is thing. Uh, this is always things when on wish lists when you're in groups. I'm always looking for this stuff. Anybody has any they want to pass along? Not just Christmas colors, but if they do it on scrap paper and things like that. Um, I just especially when you can get the nice snowflake backgrounds and things like that. I love them. That's the only Christmas ones I have is those three. And I put them in here and I have had them since last Christmas. But because that's, I only have those three, I have a hard time using them. So, you know, I want to be able to do that myself. Because I want it with roses on it and, you know, on even on scraps of paper, music paper, real vintage music paper. I want to do it with. There. Okay. And, but this is not how I'm leaving it. I'm put that there. Now I just got to find the color I want. I did a really big bottom to it, but maybe I'll just do a small bottom, but we'll see. I have a lot to choose from. I do, I do. I got this for a really good deal. I, I don't usually find great deals, but this would originally sold for 99 cents a meter. And I ended up getting all of it for $2. So I was like static because I don't find that often at my thrift stores. Not often. Da, da, da. 
Now she did it with a big on the bottom and I think it really does suit a bit bigger maybe. Let me try a larger bottom. I made all of these master boards and uh, made my own lace tags and gave myself a nice, I love what I did. I love the idea I did. Okay, put that back there. Is this one a bit wider or is that the one I just took? This one's a bit wider. I'm not sure if I want it. You know what? I'm not liking the that wide. And I don't think I have in between. <laughs> I don't think I have in between. <coughs> <coughs> hmm, sorry, guys. That's still part of that cough left. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll use this one. We won't, remember I said we're not going to try our best not to overthink things. So here we go. I'm going to put a strip along here. And I'm going to put this on. And again, if you wanted to add a little color, you could put a little washi tape on this. Especially if you had some really nice vintage Christmas washi, washi tape. The lady that I just bought one of her sets of digitals from, I will put her name down below because she's worth checking out, guys. Really, she's really worth it. She, her stuff is beautiful. Oh. Let me see. This is one of her pages. It's it's very simple, but it's really nice. And then a little script, and this is one of her paste. What I love about it is because sometimes I want, um, I like when you do Christmas, you use paper wallpapers like this vintage wallpapers and reds and greens but they're not necessarily christmas and but when you do it all together and this is her bit of washi tape that i got with one of the tags sets i bought from her and just what i needed was to print more paper and she also has really nice christmas labels but this is the the tags and it's a bot botanical Christmas one, and I love it. But I'm just thinking a little piece of this. Now, you, if you don't, I just, this just came with the set. You can also do it just with a piece of the digital as well, because I'm not going to use that whole thing. But I don't want the black line. And then good thing to do when you're doing this is rip it. Because that gives it more of a washi tape look. Do I want it that big? Maybe not. Maybe I just want it here. Very little of it. I don't want much of the words. I don't mind that. I just want a, a touch of color on it. Not a lot. I don't have to do a lot. I better check the time. Because you know how bad I am. Not only of yawning. There. Something so simple. But I like it. 
and I don't like necessarily how white it is so I'm just adding my own little washing it up a bit making it a little more there we go and that's nice little color and I could do the same on this side if I wanted to put a nice piece of it up along here which I think I am I think I'm going to do this first though before I put it on there I don't want it so white that's just me that is just me and instead of just putting it so exact we'll just do it like this there we go and I'm literally going to I have I'm, I forget what she put it on the back but I'm going to put this is going to go in the pocket and I'm going to make it paper clipped with a, a few different items let's check the time to see how much time I have let's go oh I gotta stand up to see the time oh we're at 40 min 41 minutes so we have a bit of time still oops a bit of time ouch myself all twisted guys and I think I cut something up already to use but I don't know where I put it I did it last night when I was watching because I was I sometimes practice them before hand but my boo-boo started scattering my stuff when she wants attention or food, especially when she wants food. She's a little bit of a nuisance when she wants food. I got everything ready, but then I started printing a lot of stuff today and I messed myself up. Even her plain paper, I really like, liked it. I printed it for the back of tags. Did I put it here already? Let's move this to the bottom. I thought I... You know when you know you did something, but where you did it, that's the question. It's because, see, look at, already, look at the pile of Christmas papers. And I have piles like this everywhere. <laughs> here, here, here. Here, here, here. I'm probably using some of these up. I got these beautiful poinsettias from Vicky. It was a wish on a Wednesday Wishes on Junk Journal Journey. That's what I, I'm looking for is poinsettias and trees. And I don't care if people want to send them to me after Christmas because I will surely use them. Surely, surely, surely. I think this one was a little too big with what I wanted to go with. But I can cut this in half. Take that little piece. And I know I did a paper. I know I did. I know I did. I know, I know, I know. But where I, where or where I put it, I don't have a clue. That is the sad part. That is the sad part. These should be over in that uh, basket, not laying on the side here. That is the truth of the matter. That is the truth of the matter. Guys, it's bothering me because I got this paper ready. Yes, I got it ready at yesterday evening because after I was so mad at myself for not doing that record properly, I just watched some videos to calm myself down. Before I had to leave, I got dressed. 
I had to try, my sister ordered me bathing suit bottoms, so I had to try those on um, and let her know how they fit. Really, Christina. Just checking if I put them up there. I know I had to move them away from Boo Boo Cat. Boo Boo Baby. Okay, that's crazy. And what'll happen is the moment I turn off the video, it'll be sitting here. Oh, I gotta be careful not to hit that. It hurts so much. Bruises can really hurt, and they take a long time to heal from. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm just going to trim this up a bit. It's just, it really what I'm doing right now is just uh, taking some older paper, really and truly, and I'm just putting them together. Um, one of the reasons I like this a lot, one, oh, I forgot I had those little snowflake ones. That might be a perfect one to use, but I'll use it on something else. Um, I need to order some of those. And I want a bronze one more than the silver. Gotta do some ordering. Okay, and then she did it with, she has a really nice tree punch, and she did it with a tree punch. I don't have, I have a tree punch, but not like a fur tree punch. Sometimes. This does not want to come out of there. Come on. Come on. Need to. Come on. One little spot that didn't punch. One little tiny spot. And I don't want to rip it on the bottom. If the I don't would have preferred the top snowflake not to get ruined, but there. Go. but it did I need to do, do the tinfoil trick yes and two different ways you could do it is she took a, just a piece of she put white with it I'm thinking of putting some red with it and she just took a piece of A nice emboss but I want to get a, a nice piece of emboss with the snowflakes on it but I don't it's a big deal I'm using this this is just cute little simple. This is very simple ephemera. And again, um, different ways you can add to it if you find it too plain, like the music page. Since I'm kind of doing it a snowflake theme, I can, I'm going to do this. I'm going to carry the snowflake all the way through. And I'll put a little snowflake washi tape here. All right. And depending on the color I end up with, I could add, I could throw in this as well. I don't think I have a white, I don't know if, and I would probably use gold or silver depending on what I use the most in this, but with red, but see this gold looks too bright for the vintage look. I also have this I could do. Uh, 
Okay. I need my awl. And I wish I knew where my little foam, foam board went. Don't mind how dirty this is. It's got ink all over it. Uh, but I don't know where my foam is right now, so I'm just going to use this for now. Sometimes to help with the... Um, this now the two ways you could do this and I would I don't know which way I'm gonna do it when I go to put it in okay Would have been easier if I would have just put my glasses down. Right? It it's very simple, but I really think it's cute. And again, I if I want to, I can stack that in with that if I want it to. She also takes it and I'll probably have a few of these, a couple of these I'm going to do throughout the journal. Um, but she also takes it and she puts it right onto the page. Right? Which might be a good idea here because I didn't want to cover her up. If I had a big enough, you know. Um, or like, especially it looks really cute. Maybe not so much on this, but say it's a writing page like here where you can still you could roll it over this way and still write and you could put it right through the paper and have it paper uh, the thing right through or again you can take a paper clip this paper clip doesn't work well with it let's just you borrow this one for a second and you could take and paper clip it in and it kind of decorates the page. Like, I don't really need it because I have this here. Um, so maybe not so much. Or it could be even a smaller one, just hinged into the corner. And if I wanted to do that, what I could also do, let's just say I decide to put this here. I, I might make one smaller. I would take my tab, and I don't have any Christmas ones made. Let's see what I can do quickly just to show just a piece of scrap I might have sitting here somewhere that let's just try it with this uh, I don't know all right I would probably not use thin paper because I like my tab a little bit harder and I would just double it up but I could even add a tab on the inside here and put it to the side. And then I have a tab, plus I've got that little pad of paper, right? So like that's probably what I'll end up doing it with this is making it for an edge of a paper. So, you know, I think this is really cute. And um, you can do other things like... I'm going to be making more of these. Let me paper clip this back in because I know this is staying there. i just going to get a smaller. So I'm going to make a few of these. And they can be different sizes. If you have a beautiful tree punch, you can do that too. Um, if Or if you have other Christmas. I have a bigger punch too. I thought I could do a bigger one and then put the snowflake up at the top. That they could... And the thing is... The person who buys this journal could take this apart and, you know, they may want to use it to, to decorate where they write or whatever. And it also, like this, you really can't write on. And neither can you this. This is just more for prettiness. But this does give you a bit of writing space here as well. But I think it just looks cute. I really loved this idea a lot. So... So we have that that I got to add more to. And again, I could, when I bundle this up, I could even bundle this in. I don't know if 
<clears throat> I'm losing, starting to lose my voice. Um, let's just say I didn't have this in here, right? I got to fix that pocket because um, I just see the glue didn't stay on the one side. Um, you can bundle it up in a pocket. Right? So, and I just noticed, let's fix this up now. We won't be able to put those two in there because the glue, I don't know why that glue didn't hold it. But we'll try it again. Maybe I just didn't put enough glue. Or sometimes if you put something in the pocket too soon, it pops the pocket up and it doesn't really dry well. So let's leave that like that and let that get nice and, you know what, might work better too. Sometimes I do this. Ouch. Oh, silly me. Ooh, is just uh, put one of these clips on it for a few minutes. Right, so that can also go into a pocket as well. And then like things like this, if you have a stamp, where did I put it? Um, you could put a stamp in there. Like that would look, wouldn't have looked bad either with the seasoning greetings on the top of it. You can layer it up and then they can also take that. But I mean, it will have a hole. But if you just paper clipped it, then they could use the pieces, right? So, you know, these are really cute. I really like it. I'm gonna make a couple more of those. So, and we have this nice that I plan to put in one of the pockets. I really like how that looks. And then we have the other one we glued together where I've lost it now. You see, that's why I put this basket of things done. So I wouldn't, oh, there it is. Again, even this I could put together. All right, but to me, it's a little boring. Blah, blah, blah. But could do that. Um, I have another idea, but I don't think I have one. Print it right now. I have um, a digital thing I bought from um, what's her name? A Ruby and Pearl. Um, I'll show you it in here because I'm sure I have it in here. Uh, I think my time is almost up, guys. I want to thank you for joining me. This is moving a lot, guys, because I only got elastic band in because I wanted to add a couple more papers, but I didn't know what papers I wanted to add to it. And I have a few like this that I have to do something collage on the back of it. So maybe, and see like that's the one I want to put in there. Maybe I didn't print it for this. I thought I did, I thought I did, but I didn't. Okay. I thought I did. I didn't have it. Oh, here, I think it's in this, the journal. If this, no, nope, it's not in here. Yes, it is. Nope. I swear. Well, I have... Yes, here it is. I have this here. Like, if I print this by itself, right? And, again, I could put that in front of it, right? And tuck it into a pocket, and it gives a whole writing spot. So you can do things like that, or... Um, just folding up um, a ledger piece of ledger paper with it. So those are things you can do. Oops, sorry, I hope I, Vicky's address didn't show. So we have those made. We got this little one made. Um, is that all we did, guys? Well, I guess so. We fixed the pocket. And I showed you what I did on video. we didn't I thought I got more done than that well it is what oh we did we made it the inside we did this one in here there we go so there we